Okay, today I want to talk about 1.3, new functions from old. And I just noticed that my class is wrong. I want to graph, just start by graphing this simple function, y equals x squared minus x. We're going to graph it just plugging in a point, bunch of points. And I'm going to do it slowly at first and then to remind you how that works and then speed up. If I plug in x equals minus 3, I get y is equal to minus 3 squared minus minus 3, which is 9 minus 3 squared minus minus 3 is plus 3, we get 12. Minus 2 squared minus negative 2 is 4 minus minus 2, 6. Minus 1 squared minus negative 1 is 1 plus 1, which is 2. Here's an easy one. 0 squared minus 0 is 0. 1 half squared minus 1 half is a quarter. Minus a half, which is, remember, minus a quarter. 1 squared minus 1 is also 0. 2 squared minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 squared minus 3, 3 squared minus 3, is 9 minus 3, which is 6. And finally, 4 squared minus 4, 16 minus 4, is 12. Okay, let's make that into a table. We're going to have um, 12, 6, 2, 0, minus a quarter, 0 again, and then we start repeating, 2, 6, 12. You can see it's symmetric, and I cheated, put these in ahead of time. And now when we graph them, when x is minus 3, y is 12. So here you see we went up from minus 3, height 12. When x is minus 2, it's 6, so I plotted a point here. When x is minus 1, we got 2. When x is 0, we got 0. When x is 1 half, we got minus a quarter. And then we repeat again, 0, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 6, and 4 comma 12. And then I connected the dots, and you see I got a parabola. Okay, I went through that pretty quickly because I'm imagining that you have graphed functions in the past. But now we're going to do something new. Okay? I want to add a number to that. So instead of f of x, I want to graph f of x plus 2, which is x squared minus x plus 2. I'm going to kind of do scratch paper over here. When x is minus 3, y is equal to minus 3 squared minus negative 3 plus 2, which is 9 plus 3 plus 2, which is 12 plus 2, or 14. When x is minus 2, y is equal to minus 2 squared minus minus 2 plus 2. 4 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. But you can quickly see all we're doing is repeating the calculation we did to get these numbers, and then at the last moment adding 2. Okay, so um, when x is minus 1, we're going to get 2 plus 2 is 4. When x is 0, we get 0 plus 2. 2 minus a quarter is 1 and 3 quarters. 2, 4, 8, 16. The same pattern works no matter what you add. If I wanted f of x plus 6, so x squared minus x plus 6, I just add 6 to each of the original numbers, the red numbers. 12 plus 6 is 18. 6 plus 6 is 12. 2 plus 6, 0 plus 6, negative a quarter, plus 6, 0 plus 6, 2 plus 6, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 6. For that matter, I could subtract a number. 
f of x minus 1, which is x squared minus x minus 1, I just write all those numbers, 12, 6, 2, all the original numbers, and I subtract 1 from each of them. Whoops, but I want to write that. 11, 5, 1, negative 1, minus 5 fourths, if you go through the arithmetic, minus 1, 1, 5, and 11. What do those graphs look like? So the green graph. When x is minus 3 instead of 12, we get 14. Two. Minus 2 instead of 6, we get 8. Instead of 2, we get 4. And you can see I'm just making each point two points higher than it was before two units higher. Maybe a better way to say it. So all I'm doing is drawing the exact same graph two units higher. Same thing happens for the purple. Each point here we add um, 6 to the original number. Here's a point 6. This is 2 plus 6, which is 8. This is 6 plus 6, which is 12. This is 18. We've just drawn the same graph over and over again, raising it and lowering it. Well, lowering it because if I subtract 1, I just lower each of these points by 1. So there's a rule. What's the rule? It says, if a is any number, then the graph of y equals f of x plus a looks just like the graph of y, x of y equals f of x, except raised up a units or lowered if a is negative. Okay? It was true in our case, in the case of x squared minus x, but it's true no matter what. All you're doing is adding the number to f of x, which is the y value. You add a number to y, which is the height. You raise the height by that number. Okay? It's kind of obvious. Kind of obvious, but expressed that way. The simple thing you do to the algebraic formula corresponds to a very simple thing you do to the graph. Now I'm going to do something trickier. I'm going to ask what happens if we add that number inside the parentheses. Remember what that means. That means, for example, um, if I wanted f of x plus 2, I take x plus 2 squared minus x plus 2. Let's go over to our scratch paper here. x plus 2 squared minus x plus 2 is x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus x minus 2 is x squared plus 3x plus 2. Or we can just plug in x to this expression here, either way. So when x is minus 3, oops, when x is minus 3, y is minus 3 plus 2 squared minus minus 3 plus 2, which is minus 1 squared minus negative 1, which is 2. When x is negative 2, we get minus 2 plus 2 squared minus minus 2 plus 2, which is 0. Minus 1, we get minus 1 minus um, what, plus 2 squared minus minus 1 plus 2, 
when we actually work it out, 1 squared minus 1, we always end up computing f of x for a different value. If we kept going here, we would get 2, 6, and 12. We're replacing x with x plus 2, so when x is 0, when x is 0, it's the same as add as plugging in x equals 2 into the original. When x is minus 2, it's the same as plugging 0 into the original. So this graph just shifts. Okay, let's erase all that scratch paper um, and try another example. Suppose I wanted to compute f of x minus f of x minus one. When x is minus three, we'd get minus three minus one squared minus minus three minus one. A lot of um, stuff to keep track of. Minus three minus one is minus four squared minus minus four. Sixteen plus four. This is twenty. When x is minus two, we get minus 2 minus 1 squared minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 squared minus negative 3 9 plus 3 is 12. Same thing as we got here and that's because we were once we added the numbers in parentheses we were just plugging in minus 3. Same thing is going to happen. Um, you're going to get 6 here you're going to get the one and a half we want to skip over because there doesn't correspond to anything. You're going to get two here. You're going to get zero, zero, two. Once again, it's just going to be shifted over. What does that look like on the graph? Well, if negative 3 gets sent by the green graph to 2, and negative 2 gets sent by the green graph to 0, negative 1 gets sent to 0, 0 gets sent to 2, 1 gets sent to 6, and 2 gets sent to 12, We just move the whole graph to the left. I bet you're going to guess what happens. We moved it by 2 to the left, right? I bet you're going to guess what happens when we subtract 1. Negative 3 goes to 20. I don't fit that on the graph. But negative 2 goes to 12. Negative 1 goes to 6. 0 goes to 1, 1 goes to, whoops, to 2, I'm sorry, 1 goes to 0, 2 goes to 0, 3 goes to 2. We move it over to the right. So, if a is any number, the graph of y equals f of x plus a, in parentheses, looks just like the graph of y equals f of x, except shifted to the left a units. If a is positive, and to the right if a is negative. Okay. This is true no matter what the function is. Because if you add 2 to x and then plug it into the function, you get the exact same value as if you added x plus 2 
if you plugged x plus 2 into the function. OK. Next time, we're going to figure out what happens here. what happens when you multiply by a and then finally We're going to ask what happens when you multiply by a inside the parentheses. Each of these does something very natural visually. All right, we'll see what that is next time.